Okay, this is start elimination again, Saturday, 12th, August 2023. I'm doing a follow-up from the previous video, referencing the suspicious observers and the convulsions of all the planets, okay? Right now, I'm just gonna jump straight into the temperature issue because a lot of people are frightened about what's happening with the, uh, the world right now in terms of heat. People aren't so worried about the cold. But it's more about the heat right now. I'm still I'm still referencing on my own notes from last night, where everything got when everything got screwed up. Okay, so let me just jump right in. I want to illustrate this. See if I can do a screen share and show you what I'm talking about. Um, let's press the screen share. Here we go. You should be able to see a chunk here. Okay, so just bear with me. This is one of the, I looked through lots of different charts, but I like this one because it was fun. It was kind of colorful. And it, it, to me, it gave a, a vivid illustration of what I was talking about, the way planets are convulsing in terms of, you know, different eras over the four and a half billion year history. Now, if you look at this chart, it only goes back 500 million years. So imagine this chart, uh, that would be like eight, nine times longer, okay? Nine times longer than the one you see on here. And if you look back way over here at the yellow and red stuff where I'm trying to point right now, you can see the massive convulsions in temperatures over millions of years. So extreme heat, much, much harder than we have now. And it's cold, much, much colder than we have now. And that was normal. A lot of those changes are directly due to the behavior and activity of our sun, the center of our little solar system. Now I'm gonna to go to the other end of the chart here. You can see, uh, hopefully you can see my arrow. This blue section here with the little red line through it, that represents the last, what is it? Uh, 10,000 years, okay, this is over here. So if you look at the bottom scale here, this bottom scale uh, it changes per, with the different chunks of the chart that you can see here. But when you compress it all like an accordion, you get this very vivid uh, display. It shows you how crazy things are on this planet regarding temperatures. So if you follow my little arrow here, this blob here represents where we are today with the little red mark. Uh, somebody who's very, very frightened predicts that uh, it's going to go up to here in about uh, 30 years, then it's going to go up to here in about another 80 years, okay? So I, I don't know if I believe that. That looks so extreme uh, compared to anything over the last 20,000 years. I'm not sure that I'm, we're going to see that. But anyway, that's an illustration only. So if you look at the red chunk here, these oscillations of the blue line going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, those are the oscillations and variations in temperature over the last 10,000 years. 10,000 years is nothing. It's absolutely nothing in terms of the geology and the history of our planet. But it feels like a lot because Everything that we know about modern history happened in this little blob here that I'm circling right now, where we had, um, you know, some very chilly events and some very hot events, but mostly it oscillated around that zero point as the norm, going back 10,000 years. To me, that's very interesting. It's also very comforting. Yes, in the very short term, we are seeing an upward blip in the charts right here. And there are millions of charts that you can get from the globalists and all the people who are using climate stories as a way to manipulate the global economy and your behavior and try to extract energy, time, and money out of you using fear, okay, fear mongering. But as you can see, go back 20,000 years, it was a lot, 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 lot colder, ice ages. Serious, serious ice ages. 
Then you go back 200,000 years, and it was much, much hotter than it is now. And then another 10,000 10, years, much, much colder. So you can see these oscillations here are absolutely enormous compared to anything that we're seeing today. So if we are freaking out because of a 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 degree shift from the ideal norm, then, well, in a way it's understandable because we, we like to be comfortable. I can't stand the heat. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's crippling. It's convulsing. I can't go outside. Right now here, it's about 104 outside. It's, it's awful. A few weeks ago, it was 114. In about two or three weeks, it's going to drop down to, what, 94 or something. That's still really hot. <laughs> Basically, I, I tap out around 82. Above 82, my whole body kind of goes... <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Let's bounce back now. On this chart, we're talking here hundreds of thousands of years. You can see the oscillations. And over here, we're looking at millions of years. So over millions, in that's, that's a five million year section here. You can see a decrease, okay? And before that, uh, over uh, an 80 million year, no, a 70, 60 million period, you can see it was extremely hot. Now, I don't remember which of these chapters uh, has the dinosaurs. I think the dinosaurs were about 60 million years ago, so over here. So the whole of planet Earth at that time would have been a massive tropical swamp. The oceans would have been much hotter. The planet looked different with the tectonic plates and everything. Uh, parts of what we have as desert today were oceans, shallow oceans, and so on. That's why you see like uh, prehistoric archaeological finds that show uh, ocean life in the middle of the desert, things like that. So that stuff is fascinating to me. I'm not a scientist. I'm just sharing what I'd like to discover. And before the dinosaurs, way before the dinosaurs, like 100 million years ago, which is, again, only a blip in world history, the, the temperatures were astronomically different. Now, I believe hominids, what we think of as human, human type of people, uh, started emerging around here. I think it, the famous one is Lucy, about 2 million years ago, somewhere in here. But... We didn't get Homo sapiens until about 30,000 years ago, somewhere over here, I think. It was at 20,000 years ago. So again, we are very, very new, and we're basically kind of wimpy when it comes to coping with temperature. Because just imagine how other living organisms, how did they cope with these extremes? I don't know. Maybe they just died out. Or maybe they flourished. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share all this with you. Thank you very much for watching. I wanted to connect this video with the one before. All right. The planets are convulsing, but that's normal. Okay. Bye-bye. See you again.